So I went to Kew Gardens some like years ago and asked to look at the herbarium samples that were actually collected from like Jamaica. And there were two samples that stood out from 1809 and 1822. So emancipation took place in 1845 where post that the indentured laborers came. But we saw a remarkable difference based on the morphological characteristics of the you know, cannabis samples that were there post-emancipation via prior. So prior, the thought is that these plants were pretty much hemp because the Spaniards introduced hemp to the Caribbean region in the 1600s for purpose of fiber to assist with repairing their like sail ships, so on, via those long voyages. However, it was never something that really took root. So it was said the cannabis that the Spaniards brought, the hemp particularly, came from Eastern Europe, particularly Eurasia, you know? But fast forward after the indentured, indentured laborers came, after close examination of these, you know, herbarium samples, we saw the presence of, you know, trichome glands, which definitely support that this plant now the usage has slightly changed based on being a sort of therapeutic, medicinal, psychoactive plant that was used for those you know, purposes, which it pretty much matches what the Asian culture and the Sadhus would have used cannabis for and would have brought it to this region to be able to practice their like, cultural freedom. And we can definitely see that infusion based on the names being used, but it's important to note that in Asia, cannabis is not really used with a water as a filtration mechanism. That's an African tradition that was documented in Ethiopia some, some like time before, before Christ, right? So it is interesting and sort of shocking to note that the Rastafari communal usage of you know ganja is used by a chillum pipe which pretty much uses water so that also signifies the African retention in terms of using other plant but we also see the names ganja certain things came from Asia so uh, that fusion really brought about a unique a ganja culture that pretty much brings about the Caribbean region as a sort of indicator species for like ganja cannabis culture.